How did you two meet? Well, you see, I've been going to Tooting and South London Jamaat Khan since I was a kid. Um, and then one day, out of the blue, this absolutely stunning girl just walks through. Um, and I look at her and my heart just melts. And I thought to myself there and then when I first saw her that this is the girl that I'm going to marry one day. But actually the first time I spoke to her was um, at my sister's birthday party. Um, she was looking at me constantly, so I thought I would um, go and speak to her and just kind of um, make her less shy. And it was, uh, it was, it was a nice conversation and uh, we just hit it off straight away. I met Faisal at um, Alisa's 18th birthday party actually. He was sat in his house and his parents had organised a small methyl for all the parents whose kids had gone to Alisa's birthday party. And I remember seeing him and thinking, wow. <laughs> I went through my little checklist in my head and he's tall, he's darkish, very handsome and I just knew there and then I had to get to know him better. What did you do to win her heart? Well, um, I actually wanted to go out with her alone um, and I persevered for a long time um, but she was a bit kind of shy to go out on her own. So um, I organised this absolutely amazing uh, group get together where we watched a, a movie um, and I planned it in such a way that I wanted to sit next to her so that uh, we could uh, have popcorn together. Um, and therefore I waited impatiently for everyone to sit down so that I could go and sit next to her. But what does she go and do? She went and sat with her friends. Do you know what the funny thing is? I actually really did want to sit next to him that day. I remember looking at my prospective seat thinking, how am I going to get there without looking really desperate? But then someone went and sat there, so I had to then style it out and sit somewhere else. So I sat with my friends. Popcorn for one, I guess. But I must say, it was a good film. Good, good pick, Faisal. How was the first date? But you know what? It was actually very, very nice. I think I pulled out all the stops there, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I, I got her a really nice bunch of flowers. He really did very, very well that day, I must say. He, um, he took me to Knightsbridge to a quite, quite a posh Italian restaurant, and we just had such a lovely day. Um, I even did an Indian film. I, I, th I think um, I kind of, kind of hit the nail on the head there. I remember sitting there thinking, I wonder what he's going to do for the next date. And lo and behold, he takes me to Nando's and then he eats with his hands and then he eats my chicken. I'm just sitting there thinking, who does that? Did you ever think that she liked you before she confirmed it? I, I really think she did. I think it was, it was quite obvious. Every time I would sit in Jamaat Khana and everyone knows where I would sit, she would come in and the first thing she would do just before Dua is glance in my direction. Me? Glancing? No, no. You must be mistaken. He used to sit in front of a pillar and it's not my fault. He's like, when you walk in, I just, you'd end up looking and he believes that I was looking at him. <laughs> but, I don't know. I've got to style it out without looking desperate, right? <laughs> and there and then I would just go to myself, yes. What is the best thing about him or her? Gosh, the list would probably go on and on. She is just amazing. Um, she has so many good qualities about her, but I think, I think the the most important quality about her is that she takes the best out of me um, and she is, she is really um, the jigsaw that has completed me. Gosh, I don't think there's one. I think everything's amazing about him. It's all very cliche, isn't it? But no, he, he's absolutely amazing. There's, I couldn't list one. There's hundreds of things I could say to this. Is there anything you would change about him or her? Well, um, apart from stretching her a little bit, a few inches, um, and, well, the list can go on, but she's just amazing. She's perfect the way she is. <laughs> um, probably only eating with his hands in public is just one of those things I absolutely hate about him, but it's okay, I'm going to work on that one. How did you propose? I think I did quite well with the proposal. Um, I took her out um, to Camden. Um. And he took me on a private boat ride. It was just me and him. And he'd organised a three-course meal and it was like an hour-long boat ride and in all of that. I got down on one knee. And I just felt like a princess. Um, and I asked her to be his life partner. In, in a very kind of romantic way. And she burst out crying, can you believe it? To this day, she hasn't actually said yes, but the fact that she cried and she was so happy and she gave me a really big hug, 
um, just proves that I think she probably did mean yes. Well, I hope so. It's a bit too late now. <laughs> we, we had such a lovely time. It was, it was just lovely. I think I won her heart. How do you feel about marrying Noreen? I honestly think I'm the luckiest guy alive. Every day, whenever I see her, my heart just melts. And I just think to myself, wow, what did I do to deserve such a beautiful woman? How do you feel about marrying Faisal? I feel like the most lucky girl in the world. I just can't wait till the big day now. I just feel so blessed and so lucky to have such a wonderful person in my life. What do your family and friends think about him or her? They all love her. They love her more than they love me. I mean, come on, you know. Um, my mum, uh, she just absolutely adores Noreen. Um, my dad and my uh, and Noreen are just kind of, you know, the best of friends. Alisa gets on like a house on fire with her. Um, you know, I, I think she, she's completed our family perfectly. Everybody thinks that he's the next best thing after sliced bread. He's He's, he's just won everybody's heart. My mum and dad absolutely love him. He's been, he's an amazing brother to Salim. He's everybody's brother in my, amongst all my girls. He, he's the best thing that happened to all of us. How do you feel about the wedding? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little stressed out, but that's kind of my nature. I'm a bit of a groomzilla, but um, I think everything is, is kind of, um, you know, falling into place and uh, hopefully everything will go well. Do you know what? Actually, I'm very relaxed. I'm not actually having to do anything because Faisal is quite happily, single-handedly running the show here. I just have to turn up on the day and look beautiful. So I'm going to be fine. Just can't wait till the big day. How do you feel about leaving home? Gosh, it's a tough one for most girls, isn't it, to leave home. Um, but we're only 40 minutes away from each other and we're going to see each other all the time, I'm sure. So it shouldn't be that big a pinch, but I will miss them. I'm going to miss them all. <laughs>